Hey guys, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. You know I read all the comments you guys put on our videos and we've had some comments from some law enforcement officers asking about the truths of shooting through glass from inside the car. You know, they do traffic stops, the guy gets out with a gun and they're taught to aim low. They're taught to do this, they're taught to do that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna cover today. We're gonna cover shooting through auto glass, but uh, we're, we're gonna do it from inside the vehicle shooting out right now first off uh, safety gear you notice i'm wearing clear eye pro i've got a uh, hat to cover my hair uh, head i've got gloves long sleeve shirt reason for that is when you start shooting through glass uh, man the little pieces of this safety glass go all over inside the vehicle every follow-on muzzle blast is then moving that fine dust around you're going to be covered with glass head to toe it's going to get down inside your shirt in your hair in your ears just accept that as part of shooting uh, from inside of a vehicle All right as far as ammo we're going to be shooting uh, it's uh, standard federal law enforcement 147 grain uh, hsts uh, this is a common ammo for a lot of law enforcement agencies and i'm going to be shooting it through my everyday carry it's a uh, glock four uh, it's a glock 23 it's actually got a lone wolf drop in nine mil conversion barrel i run nine millimeter guys it's, it's a good round uh, it's got a uh, it's got an olight uh, mini valkyrie that i'm testing but other than that guys it's just hollow points all right so i'm not trying to cheat by using ball or anything like that that's what we're going to be using for this all right so um when you're looking at glass, how glass is made is this is laminated. The windshield is laminated. So you've actually got two layers of glass there. What affects it is as that bullet goes through, it catches those breaking angles in the glass and your bullet, that first bullet is going to go high. So you need to aim low. However, what, uh, and that's fine, they teach that. But the other thing you need to think about is the, the, the curve of the windshield. All right, because the bullet will uh, is gonna angle with the shear lines in the glass. All right, so we're gonna start inside shooting first. Small car. I appreciate uh, all my patrons that helped us acquire this. Put on my ear pro. Now you see my target. What I'm shooting is a standard VTAC target. We like to shoot the high A zone. All right, so I put a little dot there so you can see where my actual point of aim is gonna be. And this will allow us to actually see where, where it's hitting at. I'm gonna lean over the side. All right, guys, now I want this to sink in. All right, this is our first shot right here. Notice the deviation. Guys, I am uh, I'm 12 feet from this windshield here. All right, that's it, 12 feet. Now, depending on the angle, if you're shooting out of a Suburban, it's got a windshield that's angled about the same. If you're shooting out of that, uh, that Interceptor cop car, that Dodge Charger, the windshield is actually angled a little bit more. So you need to look at that deviation. I kept shooting with the exact same sight picture. My next two shots were still a little high, but not that high. And the reason for that is I'm still catching the edge of that glass. I'm still just barely catching the edge of it. The uh, fourth and fifth bullets, guys, they, they hit roughly where I was aiming, all right? Why is that? Because I've already created that hole through the target. I've already created that hole through the glass. Now my bullets are going clean. Now the reason why that's important is because if you're teaching law enforcement officers to always shoot low, that's fine for the first bullet, because if they aim low, they're gonna, they're gonna get that first shot, that's great. But after that first shot, unless the guy has moved and you've got virgin glass, you need to immediately come back to shooting center again. I, I want that to sink in, it really does matter understand deviation here at this distance a, a normal traffic stop the car might be a whole nother car length ahead 
if that's the case, you're gonna have to double your hold below because this is gonna be up here, just adding, doubling this distance. Now, what about if you're shooting at an angle? Remember, what's deviating this is that, that cant of the glass like this, that windshield is sloped. How about if you're shooting at an angle, either left or right from inside your cruiser, that, that glass is curved and now you're taking it at an angle also. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna move the target over the side and we're gonna shoot this again real quick. All right, guys, again, shooting diagonal now through that windshield. Uh, here's our first shot. First shot's over here. I want that to sink in for my officers that are always taught to shoot low. All right, I, I, you need to think about the angle of the glass. All right, that's my first shot. And then here's my uh, second, my, my second and third shots are right here. Right, and all I did was exact same point of aim, aim at the orange dot, and shot uh, three. First one over here. Now you notice these first ones, see how they're mangled coming through the glass, uh, coming through the paper? That's because they are not shaped like normal bullets anymore, and they have uh, lost a lot of their velocity. And these are basically rips in paper, guys. But uh, if you look at all these here, they, I got my nice clean wax line around the bullet holes. These bullets are going to perform the way that we want them to. All right, so uh, we're, we're going to do that at speed now. We knew what was going to happen. Our first round went high. Again, different, why? Well, because it hit the glass at a slightly different angle and because it's glass, you never know exactly what it's gonna do. The exact angles and stuff are gonna vary by uh, angles of windshields, types of glass, all that. There's, just because you read it in a book doesn't make it accurate. Right? It did hit high, my point of aim was down here, high A zone, and what I did was then fired five more, uh, four more rounds and all of our hits guys are in the high A zone where I was aiming. If that perpetrator gets out of the car and decides to draw down on the officer, aim center mass, stay on the trigger until the threat is eliminated. What about if we did it with a rifle? Let's go check that out. The key to shooting a rifle in a car is have your rifle down where you can reach it Pistol grip up to the side. Don't put it on the side of the door uh, because you're gonna be getting in and out of the vehicle. Practice with wherever it is you guys store your rifles. This is how we store our rifles. Now, when you bring it up, you're gonna fire clean a few rounds till you establish that hole in the windshield. You may have to bring the gun up over your shoulder if the windshield is close you've got a long stock on the gun. But if you've got a short barrel rifle, a lot of times you can still get it up on your shoulder. But if it's a long rifle, just bring it up over your shoulder. You can still use your optic. Shoot till you get that hole in the windshield. Then run the barrel of your weapon through the gun. Get your shoulder behind it and you've now got your little pivot point on the windshield. So anyways, that's the intent. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. Lots of glass inside the vehicle, lots of glass. Just keep that in mind. It's why always wearing eye pro is important. Fired my first few shots and then stay on it. Just stay on that trigger, punch it barrel through, and uh, you're gonna get your hits. You are, you're gonna get your hits. All right guys, so you see you still get that first bullet up high, but here's a cool part I want you to see here is it's took a few rounds still nicking that glass and I've actually got projectiles that went through the paper here completely sideways. Those are, I, I did not poke those holes. These are bullets that are going sideways through the paper. Once you get through though, remember anytime, anything touching that bullet is gonna deviate it. I know that the Tom Clancy movies, the snipers always shoot through their glass window right in front of them and it goes 600 meters. That's not real life. Real life is you've got to not have anything touch that bullet. So those first few rounds, very sporadic but once i had that hole established in the windshield drive the muzzle through and then use your optic and you can get your rounds back on target that's it my focus for this video i wanted to be on pistol because that's what our law enforcement officers are using 
uh, when they make these traffic stops. Uh, but it also uh, carries on a lot to our personal security details, people like that, uh, and they will have uh, long guns with them. Right? So anyways, I wanted to cover shooting through glass. We've done it before, shooting in the glass. We've done shooting through bulletproof glass on armored vehicles. If you want to check out those videos, you can go to our video archive and you can pull up those videos. We've got a lot of great videos on this subject. But again, I did this to answer the comments that I've had on earlier videos. I do read them. Thanks again to our patrons and all of our other sponsors. That's all we got this week. Leave those comments below. Y'all take care. Shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.